see it's such a wonderful day, lovely day, sun's out. Uh, and what can I say? No better time to take a long road trip to go and buy some toys. <laughs> I mean, who in their right mind would do that on a Sunday, right? This is Craig, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. He runs really cool. Yeah, and he was the guy I was telling you about that runs Repack Podcast. So please subscribe. Yeah, Change yeah. more information. Uh, Repackpodcast.com or on Facebook at Repack Podcast. I am at the Screen Man on Twitter. Uh, the rest of our hosts, there's a lot of us, so I won't bother listing titles, but there's a bunch of us. What have we got here today? Uh, these are all the Star Wars stuff I'm going to sell in order to, you know, buy more toys. Have yeah, you started me down a dark path? Because I made you watch Clone Wars? Yes. Wait. I'm never gonna buy clones, Craig. I'm never gonna do it. I don't like any prequel stuff. Table is littered with vehicles. Those are just the ones I'm selling. This isn't everything. Okay, what we got here? We got a boatload of clones. I don't even think that's everything. So my toy room. Everything I can fit on shelves, not everything I own. There's the not completed yet G.I. Joe shelf. Um, that's going to be a full-size Billy shelf that'll have everything on it. Uh, up here, this is all from the Japanese series Macross. That started with these, the the main plane from Robotech, the VF-1 Valkyrie. These are the, probably the most expensive things I own. Each plane is two to four hundred dollars a plane. This is the Transformers Masterpiece and third party stuff. Yeah, a mix of transform official Transformers third party stuff and third party or, or non-official Transformers. That's the original Series 1 Transformers cast. I haven't got everyone yet, but I'm getting there. Down below, that's the Season 2 cast. Then you got the Dinobots. And then um, Marvel Legends starts at the top up there. It's the Avengers up top, then sort of other heroes, X-Men. Um, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, and space stuff. And then the bottom four shelves are all villains. So then the next two shelves are Kamen Rider, uh, which is a Japanese superhero series that I'm a big fan of. I, I, these are all from the SH Figure Arts line of Kamen Rider toys. And uh, it's, not, it's not a full shelf because I've been compacting it down and moving things around a bit to leave room for the... Every year there's a new series, so there's more toys. I love magic armor. Like, I love the idea of, you know, like, people who have armor that jumps onto them. Like, I love the Japanese series Gaiva, and I liked um, uh, Tekkaman, or Technoman, as it aired in Australia, mm. stuff like that. So when I discovered that there's a whole franchise of Japanese shows that are, like, a live-action people jumping into armor, I was like sold. So over here then that's Star Wars uh, which has now been decimated since Clint bought most of my Star Wars stuff. Then below that uh, this is from another live action show called Ultraman. This is a manga or a, a comic based on Ultraman. Um, this is from a show called Gavan, another live action. Below that this shelf is all from an anime series called Fate Stay Night. Um, the main character being Saber here. But uh, I, I'm a big fan of the Fate series, so I have most of the toy, the Figma toy line. Uh, I like Figma a lot. I think you've got to really... It, it, it greatly depends on how much you like the franchise that they're making the Figma for. So I like the Fate ones a lot, but, I mean, they do a lot of, like, Love Live. I have no desire for Love Live Figmas, so I don't own them. That's Transformers. Again, I, I could, at one point, fill a shelf with... Transformers, just non non masterpiece scale Transformers. So I, I could do a lot more of them, but um, once I got into masterpiece, it felt redundant to have two lots of Transformers because I don't play with them, I don't mess around with them as much. Uh, below that is just sort of a sorted action figures kind of shelf. Like that's what the next sort of bunch are. So um, the the ones on the side there, they're from the series Gaiva. The ones in the middle here are from Tiger and Bunny. Um, I held off getting them. I, I had Tiger and Bunny for ages, but not the rest. But they're well, very, very cheap now. Uh, the next one down is Assorted Robots, I call that shelf. Um, it's got Transformers Masterpiece um, Beast Wars figures from the animated Beast Wars series. Then at the back there, there's a Masterpiece Bumblebee. Uh, then we've got a bunch of Gundams 
here. Just different Gundams that I like. I'm not a massive Gundam guy, but I like a few, so I've just got some figures from Gundam that I like. Uh, below that, oh. yep, the original, those are the NECA Ninja Turtles. I think those are some of the best action figures ever built, those NECA Turtles. They're amazing. You like them? Yeah, they're, they're really, really great toys. Um, and it's a shame that NECA never got to do more in that line. Do you want to sell them? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so Marvel Legends, they are currently remaking the Fantastic Four and actually doing good ones. The first one out was this Sue Storm figure, uh, but she had arms that were going clear, like she was turning invisible, and I didn't like that. So I repainted the arms so that they're solid. The next one out was this Johnny Storm uh, Human Torch, which I'm not 100% sure I like the head, the clear, like it's a different color to the rest of him. So I'm vaguely thinking about getting a clear orange to repaint the head to match. The Marvel, the female sculpts on Marvel Legends have improved gangbusters. That's the Jessica Jones, like the Netflix series Jessica Jones, which just looks bang on to amazing the actress. But I mean, look, a lot of the a lot of the stuff lately, the the Marvel Legends that they've been doing lately have been fantastic. Yeah, the Nico from Runaways, which is not a character I ever expected to to get. You know, a figure of, but that's really cool. That's very nice. Old Man Logan. That is amazing. Yeah, that's there's a guy um, in Australia who makes these claws. Like these are metal claws that I replace the plastic ones with. They just look really nice. Um, same with the Wolverine, the brown costume Wolverine. There, he's got the metal claws as well that I put in. A different guy made the this thing for Cyclops. You can see there's like the red glow on the eye effect. He made these for Spider-Man too. These um, like his spider sense Whoa. going off. Um, but I mean, you know, like I love detail work like that. Is like on the figure arts. This is coming around a decade. One of the figure arts, and his whole deal is that he has um, cards in the show that he puts into his belt, or like you know, on his sword, it's got like his symbol on the sword. I'll show you my drawer of stuff. So these these are all the parts that come with, like that's Marvel Legends parts. That's just extra hands and effects thing, things I don't ever have to display. That's extra heads and stuff for if I do customs. It's all the parts off Macross fighters, all the extra missiles, and things like that. These are all the figure arts parts. Like, that's a bag that has all the extra hands, all the extra effects bits. And then in the back, these are all figure arts as well. That's all Figmas. That's more figure arts. That's more Kamen Rider stuff. The bottom drawer. Those are the parties when I make my Figmas. Like when I make the non-transformed riders. Yeah, that's all extra bits I don't know what to do with. Uh, Some Transformers. Just more stands. And that's it. Cool. Well, thanks for that. That's all right. That's the room. Sure you don't sell any Ninja Turtles? Uh, sure, they are $200 a pop.